The economy is a wild and crazy thing. Anything can happen at any given time in history that can truly destroy the economy or truly help a population out. John Maynard Keynes was a British economist who gained popularity in the 1930s during the Great Depression. Why? Because he rethought how pricing and production of goods can truly be affected by an economic collapse like that of the Great Depression, or in even more recent history, during the 2007 recession. What Keynes noticed during the Great Depression was that prices for goods and wages adjust more slowly to short-term economic fluctuations. In fact, they stayed the same. This model is known as a sticky price model. It is an aggregate expenditures model that was simplified by Keynes. Other economists at the time thought the cyclical swings in employment and economic output would regulate the prices, and in doing so, correct the imbalances in the economy. Because they didn't stay at their pre-depression levels, the economy sank. This sticky price model triggered overproduction of certain goods because no one was buying them. The domino effect left people unable to afford the goods, and the goods inventory in stores grew too much. Eventually, this led to factory shutdowns because there were too many products not moving from shelves. The massive unemployment during the Depression was caused by companies acting irrationally, though predictably, regarding the inventory levels. With too much product available, there was no need for employees to make more, so the employees were let go. However, nowadays companies are able to increase or decrease levels of stock depending on how the product is selling. This is a good system because there are certain items that decrease or increase dramatically due to product demand. So the two points of the sticky price model are, first, the prices stick, then production has to create a balance. If demand is high, so is the production of the product. If it is low, so is production. Thanks to Keynes, we can more easily predict the output of goods today, which helps us greatly, especially in today's economy, when anything can happen.